Hello guys, I'm back with another video and I got some tea for y'all today. In today's episode, we'll be talking about an unknown black male supermodel named Sterling Sinchak. Way before Tyson Beckford made his appearance in the fashion modeling world, one man had already done that and that was Sterling. He was a model, dancer, actor, and an outstanding Bon Vivant. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment, and share this video. Let's begin. Not a lot is known about Sterling other than being the first black male model. According to my research, there is no actual record of his birth certificate or his birthplace. Some say that he was born in Brazil or in Jamaica, and others say that he was born on October 12, 1948 or 57 in Salt Lake City, Utah or Los Angeles, California. My sources say that Sterling had a rough childhood and when he was old enough he moved to San Francisco. He worked as a go-go boy at Whiskey A Go-Go. He met an actor named Raymond St. Jacques and both began to work on projects together. After that, he decided to move to New York City in search of the limelight. He had a hard time making it in New York, he couldn't pay his rent, and during winter 1969, he was kicked out of his apartment. He was homeless and Sterling's mother decided to call his uncle to help him. He stayed with his uncle for a few months and Raymond St. Jacques came and vouched for him. They helped him get a job in the home. Raymond St. Jacques was a famous actor, director, and producer, and he was famous for being on a show called Rawhide and Cotton Comes to Harlem. Raymond made it public that he was going to adopt two sons named Raymond Jr. and Sterling, but it was never official. Allegedly, it has been said that he molested Sterling and he was Raymond's boy toy. Stanley Bennett Clay, who is a famous actor, director, author, and publisher, stated that Raymond will frequently travel to Brazil and meet with Sterling. Stanley said that he and Sterling would go to Raymond's house and raid the place. Raymond had all these naked pictures of all these different movie stars and Sterling and Stanley knew where he kept the photos and they would sit around and look at all these naked men. And they would also hang out with O.J. Simpson's father, Howard Rollins. Sterling decided to take Raymond's surname St. Jacques, which gives him leverage in Hollywood. Being Raymond's boy doy was a come up for Sterling because he saw it as an opportunity for fame. Raymond directed a movie called Book of Numbers and Sterling was cast as Kid Flick. With his good looks, cheap bones, gray eyes, and six foot, two tall, strong body, Sterling became popular in Hollywood in the late 70s and early 80s. He started to shoot movies in European countries such as Italy with Paolo Valadio in 1974. In 1975, he was hired to spend the summer in a new club in Gavix, the Bay of Angels. Together with two other models, Carmen and Awanda, he had to dance and entertain and excite the customers of the club and help the DJ Tom Sisson replacing him from time to time. In 1978, he was in the movie Eyes of Laura Mars and he was just a model. Sterling's rise to fame led him to appear on the cover of Playman magazine, participated in the historic grand advertisement at Versailles in 1973, and walked for Givenchy, Willie Smith, and Halston. He also secured small acting roles in the Italian film Sistimo El America e Torna of the Wiz and Dina East. With his fame rising, his popularity grew. A notoriously good dancer, Sterling frequently set the dance floor on fire with his good friend and model Pat Cleveland, along with socialites Bianca Jagger, Donia Luna, Grace Jones, and Caroline Kennedy. Pat Cleveland and Sterling were developing an intimate relationship at that time. They dated for a while and they would go to clubs with each other. In 1976, they got engaged but Pat broke off the wedding because people constantly told her that Sterling was gay. They did remain friends after his passing. Sterling attracted men and women alike who lavished him with gifts, money, and trips to foreign locales. People took notice of his good looks but were also aware of his promiscuity. Always at the club and slept with any man that caught his eye. He has slept with singers, rock stars, and actors, white or black, and almost never wore protection. He was also an escort for many powerful rich gays. Given she was said to be Sterling's lover who he resided with in a Swiss castle. Soon after Pat exited, he really struggled financially because Pat was making most money in a relationship. In an interview, he stated that he was currently broke and staying at a homeless shelter. However, he did have a plan which was to establish his own dance club in Manhattan and become a disc jockey but it never came to fruition. He moved to Italy to start fresh. He made an album but it never reached commercial success, so he moved back to the States. Due to Sterling's promiscuity, he died of AIDS in New York, 1984, and he was only 27 years old. Nobody knows how he contracted AIDS. After his death, Raymond said Jacques left him $1 from his $750,000 from his estate and he couldn't ask for another dime. Sterling could have been the highest paid model if he truly focused on that path. He could have paved the way for male people of color if he had longevity. He has lived the high life, but unfortunately, it came to an end. All right, guys. Make sure to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be back with another video. See ya.